It was nothing, lady. You be safe now. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. Oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. So you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please. I'll see what I can do. Oh. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. The fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. <laughs> you ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know. Where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. And let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. 
The dumb winch is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Well, you'll need more than talk with that bitch. I'm a very good lover, Hello. sir. In oh. just more well. Armadillo's on the up. I need to stop him. Son of a bitch again. Excuse me, miss? Er, Rose? If that useless, whoremongering bastard sent you, get lost! Miss, please. If only... You know what? Tell that bastard I ain't going back. Not this time. Not even at gunpoint. Sign an oath, miss. For better or worse. The way I see it, you should give him one last chance. Stop bothering me, you dumb cowpoke, or I'll call the marshal. Well, you sure ain't no gentleman, are you? Sure, I'll go back to him, but trust me, same as God, I'll kill him when he's asleep. That's your business, madam, and I wish you luck with it. Too yellow to come and get me himself, Izzy. I'll poison that little maggot. What did he do? What didn't he do? He's a fiddler who can't stop fiddling. Ain't a woman in armadillo he ain't had his sweaty paws on. Did you miss me, sweetheart? If I even see you look at a whore again. Oh, thank you, my friend. Well, you sure know how to talk to women. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I'd guess. Armadillo's still a great town, but he's not here. I told him I wasn't buying any land until I found him. Your money. I think he's learned his lesson. You're a real man, Car. Keep some of the money for payment. Uh, Let's go.
Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? Look at me! Look! Scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never! Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. Sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self-same. Well... Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Come on, then, partner! Take that low. Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrites. The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talked to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fella. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. 
I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they gets warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Have you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who'll do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. Fly! Fly! What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. Just darkness. I want to see the sunshine again. I've seen some candidates for Bedlam in my time, but you might just win the prize straight, Jack. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. This is one god awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of bacon. Are you looking for trouble, Mr. Uh, Can we kill Let's see what this is all about now! Pass!
job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh, my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! Just leave me alone! <laughs> of a bitch let me go who do you think you are mister you enjoying yourself down there what's he paying you I'll give you double yeah you must be Stupid trust in that crazy bastard. Slow down! Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisting little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah! Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy uh, in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide man's uh, flesh. Ain't uh, never cut into a live uh, one before. Uh, 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 odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself. Moses? <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Uh. Uh. Hurry up. I need to go find that map. Then you can clear it up the Sheriff desk. believes miracles take place in repentance. I'm here to pay my fine. Master, I hope you stay at it. Come on, now. just give him that Let's pardon letter so we can get out of here. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. Look at you. When you take a look at you, you look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? 
Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. Cold, tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song like, like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? I'll, uh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my ma felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back East. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm gonna find, too. <laughs> Wild men, mm, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> hey,